this week is probably the last week you're going to see this exact background behind me because we are moving. And actually the time that this video should be uploaded, I will probably be lying on the ground in a ball crying because I'm so tired from moving all day. Now, because we're going to a new place, I thought that would be a great chance to sort of change up the way I decorate a little bit. At the moment, I've got a lot of plants. I have a lot of black, a lot of white, and a lot of natural wood. I've either gotten rid of the stuff that's natural wood or painted over it with black enamel. I've gotten rid of all my plants, just gave them away, and then I got succulents and I got cacti to replace them with. Two new elements I'm going to be incorporating into my interiors are chrome and concrete. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make two of the concrete accessories that I've done. The first one is a tea light candle holder and the second one is a pot plant holder pot thing. Um, it's good for plants that have small root systems, so cacti are actually perfect for it. If you do enjoy this video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have new videos out every Friday and you can catch me on these other social medias that I will write next to my face here. And let's jump into the tutorial. First up are these tea light candle holders. Other than the concrete, you're going to want to have some tea light candles. I got a pack of 100 for just $6 from Target. Some empty containers. I just use some old food containers and that's what you're going to be setting the concrete in. Some scissors, some glad wrap or cling wrap, or whatever you'd like to call it, and a container and something to mix the concrete with. Next, just cling wrap over the surface that you're going to be working on so that you don't damage it. And then you're going to mix the concrete according to the packet's instructions. Now it usually seems to work out a ratio of 4 to 1, so 4 scoops of concrete to 1 cup of water. Once it's mixed right through, you're going to pour it into the containers. Don't use metal. Um, glass probably isn't really good either, just try to keep it to plastic really. Now I like to press the tea light candle into the top in the center, does not have to be in the center. Uh, you can make the concrete as tall or as short as you like. If you find that one tea light isn't enough to stay down, like if it's starting to rise up, pop another one on top just to weigh it down. Once you've actually burnt through these, you'll be able to take them out. After 48 hours, take it out of the mold. And now this is an optional step. I wanted to sand the edges and then paint over the edges and the top of the concrete or all the sides really, with some clear gloss acrylic so that way when the candle was lit it actually looked really nice and shiny. Again you don't have to do this, I just like the way it made the concrete look. Next we have concrete planters. Now I made a few of these in all different shapes and sizes so you'll probably see the containers change a few times. For this one I decided to add some PVA glue into the mix just to see if it made much of a difference. I think I still prefer it without the PVA glue. So mix it all up again. You're going to want to make sure that you have the supplies handy again, similar to what we used for the tea light candle holders. So you're going to need something to set the concrete in. And then I also found just because I'm doing cacti, a good size to make the hole in the center was the bottom of some plastic cups. So I got a bunch of those for a dollar and I'm going to be pressing them into the middle of the concrete to make the hole for the plant to go in. So you can see that there, because the cup is empty at the moment, it does want to keep rising up. So I just fill that with a few little stones. You'll feel once it's balanced, you don't want to press it too low because you still want the concrete underneath the cup, obviously. Again, 48 hours to dry, and then I decide to rip the edges off, basically. Now this one, I didn't do the acrylic step two because I didn't feel like it. I wanted them to look a little bit different. Pop the cacti in with some soil, and then I'm gonna put the stones around the cacti. Now there's no drainage holes, so you're not gonna wanna overdo it with water. If your place is like mine and doesn't have an outdoor area, just cover everything with glad wrap. If you do have an outdoor area, kind of jealous of you, go outside, make as so much mess as you want. If you do end up making one of these, I'd love to see what you end up creating, and you can find me wherever. I linked my social medias before, it's in the down bar, everything like that. Love to see what you make, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Burrito bowl with homemade salsa. First, for the salsa, 